I heard they were adding a tamer in Sap 2. A tamer is an animal or a tamer isn't like an animal tamer? Like a human being? They're adding a human being with like a little like whip or something that's gonna be like doing circus things with the animal? That seems pretty frisky and a very fresh idea. We're going small mammals. No fish and no frilled dragon because we are not spicy. Bamboozled masks, snooty fuddy daddies, clumsy skaters. This is a recipe for disaster. It's also a recipe for a middle school first date in which the people um, are clumsily trying to skate but exhausted because skating is kind of exercising and they're probably not very good skaters. Snooty mask, bamboozled masks. I put the mask on so that I would be unknown, but I'm just so confused by having the mask on that everyone's really bamboozled at this point. Spicy, commit murders. Mmm, commit murders. The idea of adding avatars to this game feels like it makes no sense though. So I feel like I'm being bamboozled myself because what would you do with that? Just have like a human standing over here? I feel like that would just kind of embrace the feeling that the game is, like, forcing animals to fight. Because if I'm not in the game, I have no avatar here, it's mostly kind of like I'm putting the animals down, but they're going off to war on their own accord. Like, look, they walked in there, they chose this for themselves. But if I have a dude standing in the background, it's kind of like, oh, these are my dudes. Go forth and fight, but I stand ominously in the background. And then it's kind of like, ooh, okay. Well, everyone who hears the avatar thing goes down the same line of thought. Really? That it sounds like animal abuse? <laughs> I mean, if Pokemon could have avoided it, maybe they would have done it, but it's too far now. Another giraffe. Um, I have had a giraffe the last three games. Have I not been offered a wasp or a giraffe every single time I've been offered a giraffe the last three games? I swear to God, this has been the exchange that I've had to choose from every time. And like, obviously, because the choice is like good animal or animal that sucks, I have to choose good animal. Like, what, what else am I supposed to do there? Not feed this giraffe a meat bone like a cave person? The geese is the most stick aroundable. These guys are both kind of stick aroundable, but it's too late for that. I have no money. I have no money. Ooh, more groundhogs, and it's a spicy groundhog, but it has no health, so your, your dude doesn't really matter that much. It would have mattered even less if my guys had the ability to kill him first or at the same time, but that's fine. Yes? You guys can get together. Ooh, look, another giraffe or a wasp. You know, it's- sometimes they give you really easy choices, and sometimes they give you ones that are just impossible. Like, the giraffe's a good unit, but the wasp is the best guy in the game. How could I make this frickin' choice? A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity here. I don't know, maybe I'll be frisky and get the giraffe. This guy's not even chill, he can leave. He can leave twice? Don't like him so much, he can exit the building twice. I mean, I guess you can boost him. I don't... It's whatever. You know what I haven't done in a while, though? Frickin' bats. I just rolled past two bats. Maybe I should have actually kept the bats. Maybe we're doing kind of a Halloween-y vibe thing right now. Maybe our giraffes have, like, a lot of insects flying around their faces, and they would just love, like, one singular bat to help them, like, be able to see again without... Having bugs go up their nose all the time. Giraffe! He didn't say his little sound effect. Do they not do sound effects when you stack them? That's lame. Oh, are you again? So you're asking me to do the same thing that I did last time, but like once again? Well, I would love to do that, but honestly? Honestly, leave. I'm doing bats. Bats are what we're doing today. I think that this man is better than trumpets, admittedly. I'm getting a lot of giraffes, which is interesting. I don't know if I even want a leveled stork, but if you're half offering it to me. I exchange it for more bats. I see. We will commit two murders with that bird. That basic ass bird just killed two whole dudes. That's a lot of murder for one little body that can't even hold the weight of like having a bladder. His birds just kind of have food go through their stomach and immediately out their body because they have to be really light so they like lose organs about it. Have a giraffe. Have a stork. None of these things are pertinent. Oh, this is very pertinent. Thank you. Wah. <laughs> I love that lingo. Continue. It is approved. You may continue. Whack. That's how you get around the uh, the Twitch auto mods. Only use the most old fashioned sort of like things. Like, ah, oh, dangle hopper. Oh, that's wickety whack. Two giraffes. Two level two giraffes. Me over here thinking I'm queen of the giraffes, that guy being like, a bet? Yes? Do I even want these giraffes, though? Three, two, one, two, three. Oh, look, we've got a beautiful thing happening here. I have to sell some people. Two, one, two, three. Is it the bird? Two, one, two, three. 
So this is the scaling. I think the problem is that I also still like scaling so much that my brain wants to do scaling over alternative options. But it seems like this weekly is also kind of based, like like I kind of said, like not on scaling and actually just on like do things that work together in a cool way, like the summon stuff and the infinite peanut maneuvers. That just having a bunch of scalers on your team, it's not going to get you far. Case in point, I have one once and I'm going to die soon. We could take this, except we can't because we have nothing to use it with. We could sell our giraffe, which is honestly kind of tragic because I feel like he was doing good things for us. You know what? Hmm, no. You know what? No. I refuse. That's what's up. Okay, we've got a level 3 goose now, so... Something's happening there. We could run a turkey exclusively for our stork. But he would also get the buff of the poodle. Two, one, two. If I sold the penguin. Or I could sell the poodle. You know what? F this poodle. No. He could give more than the penguin. I just think he's by default better than penguin. Maybe penguin leaves. Penguin leaves. We consider a turkey. And in the consideration of turkey, we are basically acknowledging the fact that maybe I would like to get more summoners back on the team. Maybe the one time that I'm not doing anything summoning related, I think I might become a summoning squad. Okay, I was gonna say that the stats on there looked really intimidating. Now that I see that there's two slugs and a turkey, the stats continue to be quite intimidating. Go big goose. Big goose, support us from heaven. Oof, that was horrendous. That was probably like the worst thing in the universe. But despite the fact that that was the worst thing in the universe, it still took till turn 8 to even happen. It's crazy how slowly people die sometimes, isn't it? When you really think about it. Fish, this guy. You know, Groundhog, you've disappointed me for the last time. You are on probation for one turn. Friendly lawnmowers, concerned cuties, upset advisors. Friendly lawnmowers, they're not gonna bite your toes. Unless you ask politely. Concerned advisors? The concerned advisors are basically so... So in terms of savings, you've been putting all of your money inside an old mattress? And I'm like, yeah, I think I think that's that's retirement, right? And they're like, so. And I'm looking at these receipts you've offered us, and I see that you have paid for um, rent, utilities, food, and fifteen thousand pounds of of sharp cheddar cheese. And I was like, yes. And he's like, why? And I said, because cheese is going to pop off in value in the recent years. And he's like, don't you know, you silly soul. That America is literally hosting an entire cave full of cheese because we bought too much cheese back in like the frickin' 19 whatevers. So America is literally overabundant with all this cheese in our secret cheese caves. And I'm like, no, how did you get this incensed government intel? And he's like, I have my ways. And I'm also concerned about you as your advisor. Boom. End of story. Nurse fish. Oh. The fish looks really cute with a little nurse hat on it and it just goes and kills me. That's not very nursely. I, on the other hand, am America. And I think me going out and committing atrocities might be- it might be a little bit more on character. Here you go. More fish. Mmm! Is more fish plus bison on the menu? Because I think that I love seafood and I've never had bison, so a little bit of something great. A little bit of something that's like new and quirky. I feel like those things go together quite well. Mmm, get slapped, son? Mmm, yes. We are victory. I would do bad again. I feel like it didn't get really a best shot. It wasn't on a team that was made for it to like succeed in life. I don't want to do any of my levels today, but I do actually like the door ant so much that I want him on the squad, so we're gonna force it. Well... We just need one more fish. I'm gonna put that on the team. I'm gonna not buy this ant. Because part of me is like you should buy the ant just in case you don't ever find your last fish, which we recently found to be extremely a thing that can happen. But I'm gonna trust it, big fish. You know, you let me down once extremely hard, but then I let you down by not buying you that one time. So I feel like at this point we're even. Mostly because I am extremely friendly and I just kind of let us be even, although I definitely feel like I was on the losing side of all that stuff. I like the... Uh, the color switch off they're doing it, it's half blue and half gray, I can appreciate that. Okay, here is the bison. Here is fish. Here is this. We have a very classic team happening right now. I will roll for a blue fish. 
I actually like this guy more than I like that guy. So we just have two door hand, you know? They have a little bit of attack. And they're gonna have a lot of health, so I think this is pretty worth it. Spicy. I guess the bat is actually not nearly as cool as this, because again, it is pretty summoning heavy. And um, the summons are not gonna get the weakness. He can only do max of three, so he's not nearly as cool as he could be. Scale naturally while I find this blue fish. Blue fish? Whoa, a blue fish. That sucked, you horrible monster. You're gonna give me a positive and then waste your buffs. We can't leave now, Bluefish is permanent, unless of course we get Large Bat, which I would like so much more. Alright, there it was. That was a leech behind a peacock. First time for everything. I did it once, now everyone's doing it. I really like him at Trendsetter like that, you know? More Bluefish, well, it's kind of too late for that, but I guess I appreciate the effort. This guy makes some crazy ass sounds, kind of spooky. He kind of sounds like a little horror movie, which is funky because he's dressed like a circus clown, which should be fun and playful. Unless you, I guess, are alive in what, like 2019, in which case it is terrifying and never to be seen. That is very polite of you, Ant. He would have killed my bison, but instead you sacrificed your life for the better good. I, that worked. That ant saved my bison's life, which in turn saved the team. I was gonna sell you, uh, and then I didn't, because I remembered that that's a bad idea. Aren't I so smart? Hmm. Continue on. We are doing brown squad with a sandwiching of uh, two blues. And the blue is a very pretty blue, so. Really good highlighting happening. I hate you. Oh! No, that doesn't really work, does it? Well, it kind of does. One benefit of the bat. Specifically, the Wolverine plus that bird team, where the bird relies on having a mushroom, is nerfed if you have a bat and it happens to hit him. So if that sequence of events happens to go down, it's actually quite useful. Okay, I know I just kind of half-leveled you, but I'm actually considering this guy. I'm not like fully committed yet, I will still roll once more just to seize. I love the macaw though, but there's no foods to give him besides maybe a cheese. Is a cheese good enough for you? I could scale. Two, four, two, one. I could scale. Yeah, I'll scale for one turn. I could fit a little bit of scaling in, you know? Like, I just scaled- I scaled like an hour ago. I scaled a lot like an hour ago, but I feel like maybe if it's like a sweet scaling, like a sugary scaling, I could make room for a little bit more scaling right now, you know? By being lenient. Tricera top second in line, interesting choices. Behind the leech, that man's a genius, he knows what's up. Too bad that he couldn't survive today, but tomorrow, I bet he succeeds. I bet he wins at least once more. I guess the eggplant could be cool because it could scooch. It could scooch the backline unit forward one, and that could actually make a difference. Am I keeping you permanently? You, How much extra do you do? Eight? With nine? That's, that's pretty good stats. Maybe 18 plus nine. But I just kind of want this bat to get to level 3, because then we can ditch the fish and have a whole nother, a whole nother spot for activities. I can fit so many activities in that spot right now. In fact, tomorrow I will be, because I'm going to boost this bat up. The poodle out of here, the fish out of here. Hmm, this team does not intimidate me a ton. It's sad that my backline guy died, but also large bat. Large American bat. This bat knows the ideals, and he's gonna push for it. I mean, I guess you could level. This is what we need. It has happened. You may leave now. If we get a tier 6, which I guess we will because it's happening already, that means our poodle can actually scale it. 2, 4, 2, 6. So, the doorhead ant is still up for debate, and it ideally is replaced by a tier 5. I don't know which one of those we would most want, but I do have a mushroom for our dear walrus friend here. I hope he doesn't like any other types of, like, nutrients or substance, because I think he only ever eternally gets to eat mushrooms from, like, all of time, so... I hope he's kind of chill with that concept. Spicy? Mmm! I wish we had a bee. A bee, you say? Yes, a bee. I know it sounds crazy, but I think even the smallest of dudes can have the biggest of effects. It would have been cool if you leveled earlier. It's kind of insane that you have the same amount of attack and- Oh, because the croissant. It's not insane. I made that happen. It was an act of will, of my own will, to make him scale evenly and not, like, off-center. I keep him symmetrical, because my brain says only symmetry. 
It's not the bat we needed, but he's the bat we deserve. <laughs> I like it when you say stuff like that, because it's kind of like, he's not what I needed. I didn't need him, but he is what I deserve, because I deserve so little. Like, I deserve almost nothing. I'm a horrible person, and so I got a really horrible bat. Yes. Now we have all of this, so he doesn't even need to level anymore. Because this isn't guaranteed to feed everybody, so that's fine. Honestly, level my poodle. Nobody else mushrooming means anything besides, I guess, just having a mushroom. So I guess, you know, technically speaking, I could I could do this. Just because it's basically a bee. We can put a bee at the back. It's like a bee, but it feels cooler because it, it's more futuristic. It didn't cost more. If it did, it'd be kind of like we were like a bougie rich person who was like, I don't think that this t-shirt is in any way better than that one. But this one costs $5,000 and that one costs three. I'm going to buy the $5,000 one. Just to say that I have it, you know? Just to like show that I could afford that thing. Spicy. The peanuts, they are in fact amazing. The fact that they always hit all of your dudes is actually a crazy upgrade. Nobody here needs to exist. I think I'm set. You don't need to level, I already decided that. You're trying to trick me into doing things I don't like. Mmm, spicy. Now you have super levels. I think the team is mostly set. I would be willing to get rid of this ant if it meant something amazing. I'm not sure if something amazing is going to happen so quickly as to get rid of it 1616, but it is up the market. Thank you for switching them around. I really wanted to be able to peanut that man. Tasty. Mmm. The only thing that can defeat me now is a summon squad. And I just don't think they exist. I don't think I fought a single summon squad this entire weekly, so I swear that they don't even- it's not possible. Simply not possible. I could consider switching somebody's cucumber or croissant out for a tool at this point. Probably, yes. Actually, there's no point. Everyone's getting peanuts. Even if they kill the walrus, everyone still gets peanuts. Weakness to the bird? Oh my god. It messed up their order. And it got rid of the- she- that was the bat technology. Please win. Please win. Thank you. This was- I don't know how that would have gone. Technically speaking, it would have actually have been that bad because uh, I, I switched the position of that dude anyway. But it feels like it went even more cool than it could have done. The power of my exact countering spells. Should I just replace everyone's foods with eggplants? We could just scramble their team. But if everyone's moving forward, then nobody is. I think it would still kind of shuffle it. I just don't know exactly what order it would go on if your team was entirely eggplants. Because first guy doesn't move, second guy does. Eh. Okay, you guys have stats. I can see that. But have you considered me having peanuts? You have. Because I can't live through the status you have. That's fine. I have lives to spare. You may have one. You may have one. Now we have a leveled ant. Hmm? This man has 30 health. That's not amazing. But it certainly is not bad. So... We want none of this. We want none of this. We want simply to level our poodle, I guess. Poodle leveling is the only thing the, the world needs. There aren't enough poodles in this lifetime. I don't know, people keep having poodles in the city, walking around like they own the place. But I kind of feel like, why do you have poodles in the city? You don't really take big dogs to cities, do you? Don't really? Maybe poodles are not very athletic, I suppose, is the concept there. Yo, your badger's not next to your dude like he's supposed to be. Ooh, it almost worked for me. I messed you up quite a bit. Not quite enough, honestly. Mm, better. Mm, you're basically Max, which means big walrus, I think. He's our frontline unit. I would like him to be able to kill things immediately. Him not being able to kill the frontline guy is honestly kind of our worst case scenario, because then I don't have many other summons to be doing things with, so it's kind of horrendous. Shuffle their turkey. If you're a turkey. It would have been really cool if I had shuffled them position that whale ate something that wasn't so cool like that guy. If that whale had eaten that dinosaur, that would have been hilarious. It's not- it's not good. Mm. It was almost good, but then that turkey actually also had a mushroom, so it was not even as close to good as I kind of thought for a second it might have been. Do we want to do something like this? Just to get the backline unit up, like who's more important? Moving the backline one. You know, maybe it's moving the second to backline unit one. This is the real math skills you gotta do here. Like, what is the best thing to be like maneuvering here? I mean, you know what? I'm running out of reasons to have money. Maybe I will, you know, no, I don't care. I don't care. I've already won with you at level three. You don't matter to me. 
I know that's a really harsh thing to say to my own guy, but you know, it's the truth. Our scaling is as good as it's gonna get, and I just am not really sure if it's good enough. Which is tragedy, because you would hope. Stop with these stupid birds. You're gosh darn lucky I had my little bat or I would have been real freaking ticked off at you. I just can't win because I just keep drawing. I don't have any additional units and the enemy often has additional units, so we're not taking these things. We're just rolling for stats. We are rolling exclusively for stats. Of which only taco exists. We are rolling exclusively for tacos. And meat stick. Don't forget meat stick. He's done his days. He's played his part in this community. We don't want to be forgetting the meat stick. Come on now. Fight. Stop doing summoning things. Okay, the whale didn't get to do anything. Is this going to be the difference maker? The death of that whale? It made all of the difference. The difference was so intense. This guy's going to summon a lot of guys. It's still fine. 